Few strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help.
it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care, 
we'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Laser Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items, located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular. It's no secret. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year. 
cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items, located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Stream is Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. 
His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditions. Welcome to GarbleWolverines.tv and your homecoming girls game for the night. Here are the starting lineups.
Again, welcome everyone back to GarberWolverines.tv. That was your signing, starting lineups for the Garber Lady Wolverines and the Morrison Lady Wildcats. And let's get this show on the road. Balls up. And Morrison wins the tip. Lady Wildcats into the night four and six in 2A play. Lady Wolverines nine and three, number 13 in class A play. Having a very good year for the Lady Wolverines. Warner on the left wing gets it to bite. Vong, kick back up top to bite. She's gonna drive, kick to Warner. Bite at the top of the key. She's going to drive inside, kick to Warner. Warner on the left wing. Shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Camille again. Ashton Light's going to bring it up the floor. And she will set up the offense for the Lady Wolverines. Gay down low to Washington. She makes a post move. Her shot is up and good. Great job by Layla there. Getting the shot up real strong there off that pass. Aggressive defense coming down. Love to see that. And that shot was made by Morrison's number 32, Kylie Bite. Johnson on the left wing gets to light. Washington, Gay to light. Gay on the right wing. Howry, shot is up, and it's good for number 10, Grace Howry. Warner drives the right side of the floor. Her shot is up, no good, and it's hit out of bounds by Morrison, so it'll be Garber Ball. It's a good start for the Lady Wolverines, 4-2, doing a great job defense uh, right there. Had a couple of wild light, late Wildcats. Kind of boxing us out there. Had two on one, though. That's what it's going to take. We like our odds. Shot's no good by Light, and it's rebounded by Bite. And that's going to be a Morrison turnover. Excuse me. It's going to stay Morrison ball. They must have said it tipped off a Gardner on that. That was uh, that was interesting there. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gets it to Wernberg. Wernberg. Down low to Bite. Ball's loose. Kick to Warner. She's going to drive inside. Kick to Bite. Warrenberg for the three. No good. Rebound. Ball still loose, and Washington gets it. And Washington's going to bring it up the floor for the Lady Wolverines. Her shot is up. And it's good for number 22, Layla Washington. Long pass down the ball. And Ashley Mai gets the ball. Yeah, it looks like the Lady Wildcats just let that one go. Wolverine's able to come back and get a good defensive stop and get the ball back on the turnover. And it looks like Morrison's going to call a timeout. We'll take it with them. You're watching Garble Wolverines. TV. Digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Laser beam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The uh, Lady Wildcats looking to inbound the ball here. Warner has the ball over to Warrenberg. Gets down to Voth. Warner has it. Warrenberg for the three. No good. Rebounded by Gay. I mean, they're taking that three early on in the game. I know they're down six right now. Wanting to get back in it. So Lady Wolf. Later, Wolverine's doing a good job of shooting the ball, but missed that one. But uh, we've got to do something to stop that three-point shot right there. That's two wide-open shots there, back-to-back -back possessions. Good defensive hands there by Alyssa Johnson to get the deflection and reset her defense. Skip pass down to Warner for the three, and it's good for number 11, Paris Warner. That's Excuse me on that. Okay. Um, Gay has it. Ball's deflected and Morrison gets it. Warner has it. Stays in bounds. And Alyssa Johnson's going to go out the ball. It's going to stay in Morrison ball. Yeah, she lost a handle on the ball. We've seen the opportunity, and unfortunately, we actually knocked it out there. Wernenberg at the top of the key to Bog, Box. Box. Shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Alyssa Johnson. And she's going to bring it up for the Lady Wolverines. Three minutes and 25 seconds left in this first period. Garber ahead, 8 to 5. Has a lot of contact there. Um. Substitution for the Wolverines into the game number 15, Kaylee Islands. And number 11, Chloe Wilkerson. Substitutions in for Garber into the game. Number 11, Chloe Wilkerson. And number 15, Kaylee Island. Don't get too high, Island. Defense, 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 defense. Rupp, going to drive the left side of the lane. Shot is up, and it's good for number 13, Holly Bach. Light on the left wing, skip pass to Wilkerson. Down low to Washington, and it's stolen away. A lot of contact down there, and, and again, you know, what we hate to see is sometimes officiating one way, a class A way, and then a two A way, or a higher class way. Uh, Hopefully we can get that both ways there. Mm. Washington had the good, strong move to the basket and thought about passing it to Island, but I think she should have just went up for the shot there, try to get the contact and maybe get the foul for that. Because there hasn't been any fouls called so far in this first period. No, it's... Uh, They're letting them play tonight. Talking about fouls, it's been relatively clean, but uh, definitely a, a very physical game early on um, and I think that plays into the Lady Wolverines favor at, at that point what we've seen Lady Wildcats do is here they're trying to kick it to the perimeter and hit that three shot uh, all night long uh, of course we've seen Lady Longhorns do that we've seen Alva do that um, and we're seeing the Lady Wildcats do the same thing here look for the open three Morrison gets possession back with the ball. And double trouble is going to be called on the floor. Checking in for Garber is number 23, Danielle Buttram. And also in is number 10, Grace Howery. Light to Howery. Her shot's up. In and out, no good. Warnenberg, Howery's gonna, Warner's gonna drive inside right into Howery and no call there. 
And it's going to stay Garber Ball. Yeah, Coach Patterson for the Lady Wildcats is not very happy about that. Uh, but, again, that's how they've called it on both ends, and, and that, that's kind of what you want as a coach. As long as they're calling it consistently on both ends, that's how you want it, whether you like it or not. Wilkerson to Buttram. Out to Light. Light shot is up, and it's good. After bouncing around, it's good for number 12, Ashton Light. That's back-to-back -back shots, and the ball wanted to go out uh, after going inside the rim. So, uh be Pass to Warner, and here. it's stolen away by Butcher. Light's going to set up the offense for Garber. 58 seconds left. Light to Howery. Back to Light for the three. No good. Rebounded by Morrison. And Warner's going to bring it up. 43 seconds. Up. Off. Warner's going to drive inside. Her shot's up. No good. And it looks like a jump ball is going to be called on the floor. Yeah, again, Patterson. Coach Patterson not liking the call there, or the no call, I guess I should say. Coach Davis doing a good job of making substitutions early, bringing, bringing her uh, girls over and saying, hey, this is how the game's going to be called. Let's, let's play according. Uh, to the plan here, and uh, looks like our starting line lineup's almost back in there. Ooh, good pass right there for Buttram to get the basket for number 10, Grace Howery. That was a good pass there by Buttram. Great pass. I really thought at first she was going <laughs> to go to Camille again and then whoop, right past her, right to Grace's hands. That's uh, They are going to call a foul there on Grace uh, Howery. And that's her first personal, first team foul of the half. Coming back in for Garber is number 22, Layla Washington. Two seconds left on the clock. Shot is up. No good. And that's going to be the end of your first period. Your score, Garber 12, Morrison 7. All right, guys, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Selection of trendy and affordable styles. Providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to get the start of the second quarter here. Looks like the Lady Wildcats are going to be passing the ball in. Coach Fashion using all the time she's got to make adjustments. Probably having a very similar conversation as Coach Davis has had throughout that first quarter of uh, playing according to how the game's being called. Uh, Garber leading right now, 12 to 7. Hopefully they'll keep that up and keep this lead going. Stolen away by Washington, and she'll drive it up the floor. Passes to Johnson. Johnson to Gay. Gay's going to drive inside. Her shot's up, and good. For number 43, Camila Gay. I saw that in Camila's eyes. She really wanted that three, and then she lit up. It was like, ooh, wide open lane, and just... A right, great hustle there by Daniel Buttram there. Again, laying it all out there to get uh, get a hand on the ball. Warrenberg. Warner. To Warrenberg for the deep three. And it's good for number 21, Maddie Warrenberg. Maddie Warrenberg. 
Light to Buttrow. Back to Light. Okay, high low down to Washington. And it's going to stay Garber Ball. Buttram to Johnson. Back to Buttram. Gay for the three. And it's good for number 43, Camila Gay. That's Camila's fifth point so far for the night. Now Coach Davis going with the press here. Putting some pressure on the Lady Wildcats and getting a turnover there. Back into the game for the Lady Wolverines, number 10, Grace Howry. Coming back in for Garber is number 10, Grace Howry. Light to Howry, to Gay. Light, Johnson for the three. Ooh, just short. short. She was pretty deep there. Um, I think she takes another half step up. That obviously makes the world a difference there. Alyssa Johnson landing on the steps there. Looks like she's all right. Yeah, she's smiling. She's pretty tough. and Again, playing some solid defense. Looks like she landed on her neck, around her neck area. That's where she was grabbing at. Stolen away by Washington. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. And it walks going to be called on the floor. Howie Vaughn's going to check in for Morrison. Both to Warner. Shot is up by Wurenberg. And no good. And it looks like a foul's going to be called in the shot. Foul's going to be on number 22. That's going to be Layla Washington. She's going to pick up her first personal second team foul of the half. Oh, not on the shot. I thought it would have been on the shot, but I guess not. That's interesting, but okay. Uh, no good on the shot, and Washington's going to bring it up. Johnson to Light. To Johnson, Washington to Gay. Skip pass down the Light. Shot's up. No good. Rebounded by Howry. She'll kick to Gay. Back to light on the right corner. She'll dribble out and give it to Gay. Gay for the three, and it's good for number 43, Camila Gay. That pulls the Lady Wolverines ahead by 10 now with 5.03 left in this first half. Wernberg, shot is up. And it's good for Morrison's number 13, Holly Box. Yeah, Morrison's going to respond there with three of their own, bring it back within seven. Holly Vaughn's got five of their points. Going to try to get the ball into Washington. Just a bad angle there. Not able to get that layup to go in. Again, very, very physical first half. And ball goes out of bounds, it'll be Garber Ball. Back into the game for Garber is number 11, Chloe Wilkerson. Light, Wilkerson, back up to Light. To Gay at the top of the free throw line, shot is up, and it's good for number 10, Grace Howery. Warner. Over Wurenberg. Wurenberg. Swiped away by Johnson. It's going to stay Morrison Ball. Wurenberg at the top of the key. Skip pass. And it's tipped away by Light. And it's going to stay Morrison Ball. Yeah, they, they kind of picked up on that, what they were trying to accomplish there with that skip pass, and Lady Wolverines are pretty quick. They're able to get over there and get a hand on the ball. 
Warner to Warrenberg. To Rupp. Warrenberg for the three. And it's going to go out of bounds and stay Morrison Ball. Ball gets into Rupp. To Bite. Swiped away by Johnson. And it's going to stay Morrison Ball. Warrenberg to Voth. Warner on the left wing. Rub for the elbow jumper, and it's good. Long offensive possession right there from Morrison. They finally got what they wanted. Howry, shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Light. Melissa Johnson at the top of the key to Howry. To Light. Up top to Alyssa Johnson. Her shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Howry. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fast foul that we've been wanting all night. That's going to be on number 32, Kelly Vite. That's going to be her first personal first team foul. Johnson. Checking in for Garber is number 32, Tori Johnson. And that shot is good by number 12, Ashlyn Light. Basket's good by number 12, Ashlyn Light. Warner, ball's loose, Light gets it. Wilkerson gets it to Johnson, her shot's up, no good, rebounded by Morrison. Ball swiped out. She'll give it to Wilkerson. Down the floor to Johnson. Her shot's up, and it's good for the layup. By number 24, Alyssa Johnson. It was a good steal by Light there, and just great ball movement by the Lady Wolverines to get the ball down the court and put it in for two. Just chipping away, increasing the deficit here. Warner gets it to Rupp for the three, and it's good for number 25, Hallie Rupp. All right, yeah. Lady Wildcats are going to take another 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. The Lady Wolverines up 26-18. to Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins and Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real <laughs> Like, I try to be really smooth about it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back as the Lady Wolverines are inbound to the ball. Lady Wolverines ahead right now, 26 to 18, with 1:42 left in this first half. Lisa Johnson gets it to Wilkerson, to Light, Gay, to Wilkerson, back at top to Light. Her shot is up, deep no three. good. Just a deep three right there. Again, another half step forward. We. We probably make that. Warner in the right corner to Rupp. She drives inside her shots up. No good. Rebounded by Camila Gay. Yeah, that was a fortunate bounce for the Lady Wolverines right there. Light to Johnson to Gay. Wilkerson to Light. Back to Wilkerson. Oh, a no. lot of traffic there. Warner has the ball with 52 seconds. Rupp. And a foul is going to be called on the floor. Yeah, it's going to be on, I think, Tory Johnson. Yep, that is Tory's first personal foul. Third team foul of the half. Number 
I think if she would have had her hands up instead of down low, it could have possibly been a walk instead of a foul for the Lady Wolverines. I agree. Ball gets in the Warrenberg. Rupp. Ball's loose. Washington gets in. She'll drive it up the floor. Washington left side of the floor. Her layup's up and good. 35 seconds left. Warrenberg. Loose ball. Johnson gets it. Light's been doing that all night. Able to go in there and swipe the ball. And that layup's good by number 24, Alyssa Johnson. Shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Camila Gay. Ten seconds left. Alyssa Johnson going to drive inside. Her shot's up. And it's good for number 24, Alyssa Johnson. And that's going to be the end of your first half. Your score, Garver 32, Morrison 18. We'll be right back. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. experts at versatile networks a call in most cases we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill call us for a free quote today allegiant marketing group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns we continuously develop new strategies tactics and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment this fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Blazer Bling offers a huge selection of trendy and affordable styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app, available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training. Now imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Laser Bling offers a huge selection. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half action between your Lady Wolverines and the Lady Wildcats. Lady Wolverines up 32 to 18. Looks like it'll be Garber's possession to start the second half. Short-lived as may as it may be. Ball is going to be tipped out and Garber ball. Looking at uh, the first half, we have three Wolverines with one personal foul. That's Grace Howery, Layla Washington, and Tori Johnson. Lady Wildcats got one personal foul, and that would be Callie Vite. Washington, the left corner, gets it to Gay. High low down to Howery. Her shot's up and good. You know what, uh, Camila showing off her range from three-point inside the paint. Uh, you know, she's going to command a lot of respect, you know, moving forward. Well, that just opens up Grace Howery underneath the basket right there for a good look pass there and easy touch off the glass to go in. Warner for the corner three. No good. Rebounded by Washington. Light in the left corner. Skip pass over to Johnson. To Howery. Gets it to Gay, and a walk's going to be called on the floor. Between both teams, off of the scoreboard we have over here, it looks like the points have been easily distributed around each player. Yeah, it looks like Layla Washington's going to pick up her second personal first team foul of the half. Um, Ashlyn Light has six points so far. Layla Washington with six. Alyssa Johnson with six. And Camila Gay with eight. And Grace Howery has some points of her own up there too, but she's not up on the board. I'll update hers whenever it goes up there. Rebounded by Layla Washington. And for Morrison, number 11, Paris Warner has three. Haley Both has five. Wernenberg has three. Callie Rupp has five. And number 32, Callie Bite has two. Looks like we've got an official timeout right now. Something appears to be on the court. All right, and we're ready to return to play here. Get pass over to Warner. It's a rup. Back to Warner in the right corner. And it's thrown away by Gay. You know, we've seen that all night. Wolverines going in and getting the easy swipe from the Lady Wildcats. However, shots up and no good as rebounded by Morrison. Rup. Gonna drive the inside. Her shot's up and it's good. Great contested shot there by Layla Washington. Layla Great defense. Got a hand on. I thought she actually got a hand on the ball. The ball kind of looked like it changed trajectory there. So, uh, no, not more you can ask for if you're Coach Davis. Uh, just ball didn't uh, bounce your way there. But Camila Gay goes down and puts one in to keep the lead here. Layup no good by more sense, rebounded by Washington. Mm -hmm. Melissa Johnson's gonna bring it up. 
Give it to Light. Back to Johnson. Light. Inside to Gay. She drives the right side. Her layup is up and good. Again, Camila showing that uh, range here. Causing Coach Patterson to call a timeout with four minutes, 44 seconds in the third period. It's going to be a 30 second or a 60 second timeout. We'll be right back. Affordable Styles, providing customers with the best shopping experiences since 2016. Stop by the store and check out the new fall items. Located at 408 Main Street, Garber, Oklahoma. You can also shop our website at blazerbling.com or over on the app available on Apple and Google. We offer fast and free shipping on all orders over $50. Blazer Bling, come and see us. It's no secret Pioneer Cellular cares about the students of our communities because we're in your communities with more retail locations than any other carrier in Western Oklahoma. It's no secret that we provide opportunities for students to learn remotely with distance learning plans and MiFi devices. We also help these schools live stream their games so family members across the country don't miss the action. We sponsor schools and colleges because your children deserve the best. Pioneer Cellular, it's no secret. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Four minutes, 44 seconds left in the third period here. Lady Wolverines up 38 to 20 over the Lady Wildcats. Coach Davis looking to finish the season strong here. Just while we got time, we are going to let you know we do have a ball game tomorrow. Uh, Wolverines against the uh, Forgan Bulldogs, I believe it is. I don't know. <laughs> I know where Forgan's at. I can tell you that. Um, I, I, I don't know what they are. To be honest, I didn't realize. I, this might just be a weird thing about me, but, like, I'm probably knowledge, knowledgeable about Oklahoma. It's like, okay, like, I know a town name, or it's like, I know the area it might be. I learned today a lot of classmates of mine don't know more than Garfield County or big cities like Tulsa and Oklahoma City because we were looking up basketball schools today and where they were at, and I was like, it's here, it's here. They're like, okay, Atlas, we don't know where that's at. <laughs> You, just cultured, right? You just, 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 just more know. cultured, is that what you're saying? I, I guess. All right. Number 25, uh, Callie Rook is going to hit that three there. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, most of them did not know that Porgan was out in our great panhandle. It, it is a panhandle, that is true. Ashley Light for the three, just in and out. You know, it's about five baskets that the Lady Wolverines have had inside the rim, and they just kind of bounced out there. Long pass on the floor, and that's going to be a backcourt for Morrison. Substitution for Garber, back into the game, number 15, Kaylee Island. Checking in for Garber is number 15, Kaylee Island. Lady Wolverines leading right now, 38 to 25, with 332 left in this third period. Not sure we mentioned, but tomorrow's tip-off. Girls will tip off at 3 o'clock tomorrow. The boys will follow. So if you are uh, stuck at home in the impending snow coming tonight, then uh, make sure you tune in to GarberWolverines.tv. Yes, because it's, it should be pretty good games. I mean, we have another good one coming up tonight, but after looking, it looks like both Oregon girls and boys are ranked in the top 20. They are both ranked, in that is true. Class B. But we do have another good one coming up tonight. You have your Garber boys going against the Morrison boys, and both of them are top five contenders in their respective classes. Light to Johnson. Back to Light. Gay down low to Washington. She kicks out the Light. Johnson down low on the island. Island loses control of the ball and it's gonna be more some ball. Checking in the game for Garber, number eleven, Chloe Wilkerson. Checking in for Garber is number eleven, Chloe Wilkerson. Rup. Ball gets tipped out and it's gonna stay more some ball. Oh, 
Warner. To Rupp. Warrenberg going to drive inside. Her shot's up. No good, but a foul is called on the floor. That's going to be on number 15, Kaylee Island. That's going to be her first personal second team foul. That's going to put number 21, Warrenberg, at the line to shoot two free throws. Our first free throws of the night as she misses her first one. I don't think no. These are the first free throws of the game overall because I don't think any of the league Wolverines have went to the line either. That is correct. She does knock down her second one to make it a nine-point game in the favor of your Lady Wolverines. Wilkerson to Island to White. Her shot's up, and it's good for number 12, Ashley Light. That puts your Lady Wolverines up by 12. Rupp to Both. Her shot's up. No good. Read about Rebounded by Washington. You know, Kaylee Island was able to go in there. She made her think about that first time she pump fake, but Kaylee uh, rebounded really quick, was able to come back around and get a hand in her in her face to make sure that that was an errant shot there. Rupp drives inside. Oh. She's fouled on her shot, and her shot That's was good. Camila Gay is going to pick up her first personal. Looks like our third team foul of the half early. Well, I mean, all three in the coming in the third period there. It's going to put Callie Rupp to the line. She's able to make that three-point play there. Bring them back within nine. Light for the three. No good. Rebounded by Morrison. It was good the first time. We thought we'd try it again after free throws. I like the idea. Boss. Warner in the right corner for the three. No good. Rebounded by Bite for Morrison. Ball's tip stays in play, and Light gets and she'll drive the floor. Her shot's up, go. and she's fouled. Yeah, that foul is going to be called number 21. Uh, yeah, Maddie Warnberger. Warnberger, I apologize. First personal first team foul of the half. Puts Wolverines at the line for the first time tonight. Ashland's first one is good. That puts her in double digits now with 10. I heard in pre-K Ashland was an All-American free throw shooter <laughs> as she looks to continue that success. And we went from a very physical game to a very touchy game here in the second half. Grace Howry going to pick up her first or second personal, but it looks like our fourth team foul of the half. Uh, Wolverines up by 10. You'd hate to see us get in foul trouble early in the fourth quarter and allow that 10-point lead to, to erode there. So, 46 seconds left in this third period. I would agree with your comment you made. I mean, the officials, I think, reconsidered what the coaches were saying, and they've been calling a lot more fouls than what they did that first half. That first half of the game, we only had two fouls the whole entire game, and they were both from the Lady Wolverines. Ball gets in. Warner in the left corner drives inside. Warner. Drives inside, ball's loose, and that's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball, call on the floor, position goes to the horse. Correction, guard. And possession's going to go to the Lady Wolverines with 23.3 seconds. Johnson, light, Buttram, back up to light, Johnson. Light, Buttram, six seconds. Back to Light, her shot's up, and it's good for number 12, Ashton Light. And that's the end of your third period. Your score, Garber 45, Morrison 32. We'll be right back.
Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. Welcome back, everyone, to GarbleWolverines.tv. I wanted to bring you back early because it is homecoming for the night. So I thought we should give you an introduction of our cheerleaders. Um, cheerleaders for the Garber Squad. Senior, Veronica Wright. Sophomore, Layla Hernandez. Sophomore, Andy Sharp. Sophomore, Faith Deeds. Sophomore, Sarah Deeds. Sophomore, Summer Prince. Freshman, Kylie Bergenero. Bajarano. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to butcher that last name. <laughs> um, freshman, Anna Martinez. And that's your trailer squad for the Garber. Always doing a great job. Cheering us on. I still haven't heard my cheer. Oh, what's your cheer? Well, you know, they... Oh, we're going to have a foul right there. Layla Washington's going to pick up her third personal... Fifth team foul, seven minutes, 45 seconds out of the fourth quarter. Oh, I just, I thought they'd, you know, shout out to their favorite science teacher. And <laughs> They're actually, um, last year it was, oh, we got a three, and that three was made by Morrison's number 21, Maddie Wernberg. Continuing on with my thought, but, um, there was last year during the Garber tournament, I didn't hear it this year, but the Ripley cheerleading squad, they had a really fun cheer, and me and my former buddy, and my former play-by-play uh, -play -play man, Jackson Weibling, we were getting into it, and we were like up here going crazy with them, and they kind of gave us this weird look like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, they had no idea who we were and stuff, but it was a pretty cool cheer, and I, I wish our cheerleaders would do it, but they don't. Yeah, you maybe need to go teach them. Layla Washington is going to pick up her fourth personal foul, sixth team foul of the half. And uh, the Lady Wildcats do have the Lady Wolverines in some foul trouble here. And Layla Washington's got four personals, one more, and she's going to have to call it a night early. Ball's tip gets the National Knight's hands. She'll run it up the floor. Her shot's up. Ooh, no good. Rebound by Morrison. Ball's loose again. Howard gets it. She gets it to Buttram, and it hits off her hands, and it's going to be Morrison Ball. Just a little too strong. You know, her brother's a starting quarterback. You know, she's naturally got a cannon for an arm. <laughs> it, it's a genetic thing. I, it appears, and so, you know, learning that touch. Boss is going to drive inside, and she'll be fouled. Yeah, Camila Gay is going to pick up that foul, and that's that's probably a warranted foul there. Uh, I can't argue with that one. It's going to be her second personal, but that is the Wolverines, Lady Wolverines' seventh team foul. Again, uh, putting us putting Lady Wildcats into the bonus on the next one. I can't tell who that is. Oh. They're going to miss both their free throws. Oh, it looks like Hallie Vaughn. Oh, it looks like that three's good. My Morrison's number 25, Callie Ruff. Yeah, it's gonna, that's going to be her 16th point of the night. And another basket on the other side for Garber. That basket was made by Garber's number 43, Camila Gay. Rupp, shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Alyssa Johnson. You think they called that back? Yeah. It hits the top of the thing. It, it hit the top. It hit the back post there to come back in. Mm -hmm. I think that's why in those free throws some of the Garber girls just stopped because they thought they'd call and then they didn't. Shots no good by Light. Rebounded by Morrison. Again, up by 11. We've got to be real selective on... Uh, our defense here. Five minutes, 15 seconds left in the game. If I was Garber, I'd take it slower. Just take some time off the clock and keep your lead. Well, I'm going to lose the handle on that. That kind of messes with your rhythm a little bit. You want your team to stay in sync and, and, yeah. and have that rhythm. So that's just one of those things that uh, – just be patient. 
patient because you don't want to give them too many opportunities to get back into this game. You're right. You're right. I'd, I'd be screaming to fire up the three right now. You know, I'm not a very patient person, so Coach Davis obviously much, much better basketball coach. Okay, and like we're going to have something. That foul is on Garber's number 10, Grace Howery. That's going to be her third personal eight-team foul. That puts Morrison that in the bonus. That should not be a one-on-one, should it? Yeah. That puts Morrison in the bonus. I thought we had the ball, but I guess I was wrong. So to the line for the one-on-ones for Morrison is number 21, Maddie Werenberg. No good. Rebounded by Camila Gay. Lisa Johnson to Wilkerson, down low to Howery. Her shot's up. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Wilkerson. Johnson for the three. And it's good for number 24, Alyssa Johnson. It's going to be Alyssa's third three of the night. Good job by Chloe there, just slipping in, getting the ball, and passing it back out. I mean, I kind of missed her down there. She was hidden. Oh, yeah. I wish I had speed. God damn, bless me for that. Chloe does a good job again, you know, uh, coming in and getting some quality minutes there. Coming back in for Garber is number 32, Tori Johnson. Ball gets in. Camila Gay gets in. She'll pass it to Johnson. Johnson's going to run the floor. Her layup's up, and it's good for number 24, Alyssa Johnson. So, right, ball's going to go out of bounds on Morrison, so it'll be Garber ball. And Looks like Coach Patterson's going to take a full timeout here. We'll take it with him. We'll be right back. Brian Bishop was born and raised in Enid and has raised his incredible family in the area as well. His youngest boys attend Garber Public Schools, which of course makes him an avid supporter of all Garber Wolverines athletics. In addition to his diverse background, Brian has been blessed to serve in ministry for most of his adult life as well. He is now thrilled to have the opportunity to join Blevins & Co. Realty and serve the great people of Northwest Oklahoma with all of their real estate needs. So contact Brian Bishop today at 580-297-5010. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Lady Wildcats going to inbound the ball here. Three minutes, 58 seconds left. Coach Weibling on the, the tracks here playing my song. Howery, down low. First shot's no good. Second shot's no good. Third shot's no good. Rebound to Johnson. Three's no good. And it's rebounded by Morrison. At first, I thought Howery was just padding her stats there. <laughs> Warner to Boss. Lob down low to buy, but too long of a pass. So it's going to be Garber ball. Uh, Alyssa Johnson's going to bring the ball up now for the Lady Wolverines. Get it to light. To Gay. Her shot's up. No good. Rebounded by Morrison. She's a little too strong right there. Rupp, the boss, her shot's up, and it's good for number 23, no, excuse well, me, 13, yep, Hallie Ball. Brings the Lady Wildcats within 14 with two minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. Johnson to Gay. 
Light, Johnson, Camila Gay, down low to Howery, her shot's up, and good for the reverse layup. <laughs> Okay, extra points for style. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty slick here on homecoming night. Block shot by Camila Gay. Ball's loose, Harry gets it and she'll give it to Light. Two minutes and three seconds left in this game. Garber ahead, 56 to 40. Shot's no good by Camila Gay, rebounded by Howry. And a timeout's going to be called by Coach Davis. And we'll take it with them. You're watching GarbableWolverines.tv. Imagine a school with more than 26,000 enrollments per year, cultivating opportunities for students to develop new skills and gain industry-recognized certification. Now imagine a corporate training center that partners with more than 500 local businesses each year, providing a productive and prepared workforce for employers in Oklahoma through customized training now. Imagine a community resource who believes our business thrives when our community thrives. We aren't just the local Votech, we are Autry Technology Center. Garber Co-op, serving the communities of Garber, Fairmont, and Covington, knows how important high school sports is to the community and is excited to help sponsor this contest. The Garber Co-op can help you with all of your grain, fertilizer, custom fertilized spread, feed, fuel, and propane needs. Visit the Garber Co-op today. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Rival again with the tracks playing Air Force Ones. You know, I used to work at Foot Locker, and when this song came out, I sold a lot of Air Force Ones. <laughs> well, I've been playing the good jams tonight. Light. Tries inside, kicks the gate for the three. No good, rebounded by Tori Johnson. First shot set for the putback, no good. Rebounded by Morrison. Boss gonna drive it up the floor. Shots up and good. Lady Wildcat basket number 13, Hallie Vaughn. A minute 26 left in this game. Garber ahead 56 to 42. Okay, down low to Washington. Her shots up no good. And it's gonna be Morrison ball. Coming in for Morrison, number double zero, Riley Hughes, number 22, Tyka Birch, and number three, Lakin Hicks. Oh. Light's going to bring the ball up with a minute five left. Johnson to Gay. Johnson. Washington. Bounce pass down low to Gay and it's swiped away. Warner on the right side of the floor. Drives inside. Her shot's up and she's going to be fouled. I didn't agree with that call. Crowd didn't agree with that call. But number 11, Paris Warner will head to the line for the Lady Wildcats. Yeah, Warner's going to head to the line for the first time tonight. That's uh, Tory's second personal, 19 foul of the half. Second one's good for Warner. All the seniors plus Alyssa Johnson up on the floor. She missed the first one. Uh, 35 seconds left in this game. Mr. Book out trying to mess up on his free throw attempt counts. You gotta keep the stats right. So. Light to Johnson. I could never fabricate a stat. You know, that's not what they pay me to do, right? Got to keep everything honest. Johnson drives inside. Her shot's no good. And Warner's going to come up with it with six seconds left in the clock. She'll be fouled. Yeah, that's going to be a silly foul there for Alyssa Johnson. She's going to pick up her first personal. Lady Wolverine's up. 
13, going to pick up their 10th team foul here. Warner's going to come back up, see if she can't improve her, her line there. First one's going to be good. Troy Johnson with the rebound. And that's going to be your final, your score, Barber 56, Morrison 44. And we'll be back with the boys game here shortly. Or call us at 580-863-2292. The Garber Co-op salutes all of the coaches, athletes, and cheerleaders who make the commitment to make high school sports great.